Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see that how we can use the chat GPT to enhance the functionality of our WordPress based website. So in this video, we'll be seeing that how the chat GPT will help us enhance the code and functionality in our WordPress website. We'll be asking the chat GPT to create the simple code to disable the right click on our WordPress based website that you are seeing here. And then we'll be asking him some of the complex thing and we'll be asking him uh, to add the custom pricing option based on the payment method that the customer will choose. So if you want to learn that how you can use the chat GPT to enhance the functionality of your WordPress based website, then without further ado, let's get started. So once it will get logged in, you will see this kind of interface. Simply click on next button here and then next button here and then you can click on this done button. All right. So here you have the screen and in here you can click on this new chat and you will see this module here. From here you can choose this bar to add the question or ask the question from chat GPT. So first of all, I want to ask the chat GPT to disable the right click on our WordPress based website. So if I go back and if I right click, you can see that I am able to right click on all of the elements on our WordPress based website. So I want to ask the chat GPT to, to disable this right click on our WordPress based website. So I'm back here and here I can type write the code to disable the right click in wordpress website all right we'll wait for it to give us the response all right so here you can see it has wrote some code this is a javascript code that he have wrote for us and in here you can see that it is giving us a note that disabling the right click may not be a good idea as it can be annoying for some of the users but here it also says that how we can implement this code so it says that in order to implement this code go to the wordpress dashboard and click on the appearance and then editor in the left hand menu from here we'll have to choose the theme functions function.php files basically and then we can insert the code that we have all right let's go back to our wordpress based website i'll click on dashboard and then from here we can go to this appearance and then theme file editor and then i want to click on this theme function functions.php then i'll go back and from there i'll copy this code and then i'll insert this code right here and then i'll update this and you can see it says your php code changes were rolled back due to an error so maybe we can refresh this and maybe we can try adding the code again all right it's giving us an error so we'll have to go back and we'll have to ask him to regenerate this. Okay. This time it has provided us with a different code, but it also asked us, asked us to implement this code in a different way. You can see that it says navigate to appearance tab, but this time go to the customizer option and, it, and from there we'll have to choose the additional CSS and then we can insert this JavaScript code that it has provided. So from here, I want to get rid of the code that we have added and then I'll update the file and let's go to the front end of our website again and click on this customize option there and from there i want to click on this additional css tab i'll go back to chat gpt i'll copy the code 
and from here I'll insert this code here and then I'll publish this code now let's check our website again let's refresh this one more time and now if I refresh it is still working so that means that code is definitely not working all right we can ask him to regenerate the code again all right so you will have to ask him to regenerate the responses until you will find a solution that works best for you so as you can see i have tried a couple of solutions that it has provided but none of them worked so far this is the third time we are trying this so let's just copy this code and this time it has asked us to go to editor but then again we'll have to go to header.php file so first of all what i want to do is to go to customize option and i want to remove the code that we have added recently that's this one so i'll remove this one from here and i'll publish this and then what i want to do is to go back to my wordpress dashboard and from here i'll go to appearance and then theme file editor in here this time i want to search for a file that is header.php and this time i'll insert this code right here i'll update this and you can say this is now updated successfully now if i go back to the website again and if i try to refresh this is not working so this is the third time it has provided us, us the solution that is working so this was we asked him to disable the right click on our wordpress website and finally it worked for the third time let's just ask him about the payment methods so for now as you can see if i add something to the cart if i go to the cart if i proceed to the checkout here you can see that i have a subtotal of this amount because i have two products in the cart one for 30 dollars and the other one for the 32 dollars that makes 62 dollars i have two payment methods here one of them is direct bank transfer and other one is cash on delivery so for the cash on delivery i want to ask the chat gpt to write us the code that enables the users or the customer that if they'll choose the cash on delivery option they will be charged an extra ten dollars okay i'm back to the chat gpt here and i'll ask him to write a wordpress code that adds an extra ten dollar shipping fee to the cod cash options so i'll ask him to write the answer for us i'll wait for the answer all right it has provided us with this answer so let's just copy this code and this time it has asked us to go to appearance editor and then functions.php file again so i'm already there from here i want to choose the function.php and this time i'll insert the code and see if it will work so i'll click on update file and this is updated successfully so we are on the checkout page and i have 62 dollars here so let's just refresh and nothing happened that means the code that it has given didn't work so let's just ask him to regenerate the response again okay this is the second answer that we got so i'll copy this code i'll go back and i'll remove what we had added and i'll insert this code and then i'll update the file again now i want to go back to checkout page and i'll refresh this again and this time as you can see it has added the shipping fee of ten dollar there so this actually works so in this way you can ask the chat gpt to insert the code to enhance the functionality of your website now let's just ask him to compile this code into the wordpress plugin so can you write this code as the wordpress plugin
so let's see what it will do now all right so here you can see that it has compiled the code as the wordpress plugin now what we'll have to do is to make the zip file so that we can install this as a plugin in wordpress so for that what i want to do is to choose my visual studio code editor i'll use the visual studio and in the visual studio i'll open a new file and i'll title the file as plugin for cod payments dot php and i'll create the file it will ask me to save the location i'll save it on my desktop for now and then what i want to do is to copy the code that it has compiled so i'll copy this one and i'll insert the code there and then i'll save this all right it's saved now as you can see this is the file in here what i can do is to right click on this and then i'll click on show more options and from here i'll click on add to archive i'll click on add to archive and then i'll choose zip and then i'll click ok so what it will do it will create the zip file that i can upload in the wordpress dashboard so now i'll go to my browser again i'll remove the code that we had added I'll go to these plugins then I'll click on this add new and then the upload plugin so I'll choose the file there it is plugin for COD payments I'll upload this one and then click on install now and here you can see that was the plugin and it installed autom su automatically successfully I'll click on activate plugin and here you can see it is COD shipping fee adds a ten dollar shipping fee to the cod payment options if i'll go back and refresh this one you can see we still have the option here so in this way you can chat you can use the chat gpt to create the custom plugins for your wordpress based website i hope you have learned something new from this video and you might find it excited that how you can use the chat gpt to enhance your work capacities so if you have learned something new from this video make sure you hit the bell icon and make sure you are subscribed to my youtube channel i'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye